Next up to bat, the Yamaha APX 600 FM. Hey, James Shee here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done already. So the Yamaha APX series has been out for several generations. And basically where it came from is you're in a rock band in the 80s and you want to grab an acoustic guitar for that, you know, one acoustic ballad hit that you have. Um, there wasn't a lot of options at the time. And so these are not guys who were really used to playing acoustic guitars. And so Yamaha came out with a thin line style guitar, the APX, for that reason. So very comfortable for those guys. It, it is very good at pushing back feedback and not feedbacking live and things like that. And so it's changed in style a lot of different ways, but the general concept really is just the same. Nice thin body, cut away. We try to get some more of that booming acoustic sound by doing some other things, but still very easy to play for your guys who really play a lot of electric guitars. So let's just go over it. So you've got die cast tuners, it's a urea uh, saddle and nut, which is really hard plastic that they do on there. This is actually a 15 and three quarter radius rosewood fretboard. This is actually a flamed maple top. Uh, this particular color is an amber, which is only an AIM color. So that's the Alliance of Independent Music Merchants. So only those dealers will have the amber flamed maple. Uh, they do have an APX 600, which is uh, just a standard spruce top. Also, so the maple is going to be a little brighter, but really killer flame look on this. Now, the back and sides are locally uh, tone woods. They're locally sourced tone woods is what Yamaha says. And basically what that really means is, hey, we don't want to stop production, so we're going to find the best tone woods that we know work well with guitars that are local, and we're going to use that. So it does change from here and there depending on what's available, but all very similar. You know, So I think it's really great that they're willing – they, hey, we want to keep putting guitars out there that, that sound good, and we're not going to wait for that one particular wood. Uh, pretty smart, in my, in my opinion. So this is a six, uh, System 65 SRT. It's the Yamaha Piezo pickup that's under the uh, bridge here. And it's just a standard volume. You do have a built-in tuner. And then three band EQ with low, mid, and high, which cool is it has an AMF slider, and that's adjustable mid-range frequency. So it goes from 80 to 10,000, okay, uh, and then for that middle knob, so you can really pinpoint what mid you're pushing there. So generally speaking, usually about 100, 120 down you consider to be bass, and then over that 10,000 is uh, going to be treble. So it, you can really tone in, you can really dial in some tones that you like with those mids. So it's a pretty cool feature uh, from that standpoint. Other than that, very comfortable to play, runs on two AA batteries. And it definitely is good about pushing back on feedback. So I dig that part of it. You also notice that a lot of guitars have your standard circle. Uh, they actually use an oval on this series. And the oval giving it a little bit more open, low end on that because of the thinner uh, body style. And it is a X bracing. It's a non-scalloped X bracing, which also helps a little bit with that. So... Very cool guitar, sounds really good several different ways. So we're gonna get to that. We're gonna play uh, you know, just kind of a direct signal. We're gonna mic it a few different ways. And we're also gonna make sure that you can hear what it sounds like in a, in a mix as a rhythm guitar also. So how we have the guitar going in, it's simply going into a DI box, direct into the interface into Studio One. And I have the EQ flat right now. So we're just gonna play some money making chords just so you can kind of get a feel for what it sounds like. So now we're going to move, uh, I'm going to adjust a little bit of the mid right here closer to the 80. And you're going to hear a difference in that. I'm going to push just the bass a little bit. So same thing. Now you hear this woofy kind of a lower end that's coming out of there. And then of course I can do that complete opposite from the bright standpoint also. So now we're just up close miking with a dynamic mic. This is the Sennheiser 906. It's a mic we use often. It's a great dynamic mic. So 
So now we're going to switch on the direct also. So you're going to hear a combination of the direct signal as well as the 906. So now we're miking with the nice large diaphragm condenser mic. This particular one is the AKG C214. So now we're going to flip on the direct signal again, so now you're going to get that combination of direct signal as well as the large diaphragm condenser. So now we're going to listen to it in a song mix. Hit it, boys. So the Yamaha APX600, it's a really cool acoustic guitar, especially for the market that I think it, it, it fills. And for me, those guys who are really electric heavy, who play just an occasional acoustic song live on stage, um, really will like this guitar because it still feels a little bit more electric to them and plays very similar, but you can definitely get a good full acoustic sound. The other things is, depending on uh, people, maybe if they're petite or whatever body type they might have, it's very comfortable to play, especially like in a coffee house situation where, and it's, and it's light. So I, you know, and I really think that there's a lot of great instruments out there and they all have their different markets. And so I love finding out really where things fit in. And I think that's where this, this really, fin it's really fun to play. I've been enjoying it uh, all day during filming, playing it. It's just very simple. It feels really good on the hands. And so definitely a great market for out there for those, uh, for those people. So uh, like I said, now this amber color is only AIM exclusive. Obviously, Tarpley is an AIM dealer, so we do have the the amber. And then the APX, that's the spruce top. Uh, I believe there's a few colors, but they're just going to be like a solid, solid look. But to me, this flame maple really helps. It's just such a cool... Uh, great look to it. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to know as more videos drop, just... Turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one.